All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. How you doing today? I hope you're doing all right. We're about to head to Kadara. But first, before we do that, I want to talk to everybody, see how everybody's doing. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kalo? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. Everything okay? What can I do for you? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. Sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. You sure? Because it sounds like it. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. All right, let's talk to Suvi. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? Yeah. I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare, and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. On Aya? Alright, well, maybe we can check to make sure we can eat it. PB. PB. Hi there. Just checking in. What's up? Okay, nothing new for me. All Thanks right. for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Let's talk to everybody else. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's run. I always have time for you. Okay, um... I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. Oof. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Really? Her own kids? Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minnows Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. Oh shit, okay. That was, that was relatively quick. How did he keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. Well, that's good. That's all most of us can hope for nowadays. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. All right, Joel, you in here? No, you are not. <laughs> Probably downstairs somewhere. Cora too. <laughs> right, come on, door. Thank you. All right, I, saw, I knew I saw Drac back here. Soldier What's up, Grandpa? Gara were fighting. Pathfinder. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. I forgot I never actually talked to him about that. We can talk more later. Sure. Gil, I'm going to use this as a bridge, but like, I need to talk to you. 
Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Callow? Anything I should be concerned about? Uh, twist my arm, why don't you? It, it's contrasting styles more than anything. He's a blueprint guy. I'm gears and guts. Got ink on his digits, not grease, up to his elbows. If you didn't have me to balance him out, you might be in trouble. <sighs> Heck, maybe that goes both ways. It sounds less like you're balancing each other out and more like you're, uh, canceling each other out. How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Sounds Waiting like to it. get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Okay. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. And yeet. Alright, Liam, you back here as well? Or are you goofing off with Jaw? Goofing off with Jaw, probably. Any word? That vault on Aya was so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder and making sure we're ready for a fight. All right, um... Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. Does that mean fraternization is okay for Asari commandos? It'll happen, but usually only for one deployment. Asari don't usually stay with each other long term. After your 500th birthday, you learn some self-control. Right, okay. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Through this door. There's Jaw. So that looks good to you? As if any of your meals passed the bucket test. Mm. You lost me. Picture your favorite food. Now picture it in a bucket beside a barn. Would you still eat it? Do all humans try to ruin everything? <laughs> <laughs> or just you? I think it's just him, because that's the first time I've ever heard of the bucket test. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. Okay. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. You're Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. Yeah, but that that's not really feedback, but okay. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did, but it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. <laughs> you as a clock cop seems cliche. An impatient rookie, frustrated by procedure. That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Yeah, if you're a very, a very impatient person, don't become a police officer. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin, both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Who defines traditional? Traditional is a weird term for family. 
like normal. Does that describe? I suppose you're right. I sure didn't keep the tradition. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. All right, Joel, any, uh, any progress? There's always more to say and to learn, isn't there? Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Jesus. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sahuna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins, all raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the Ket. Oh, I'm we sorry. never found his body. My dad died on our first mission here. I didn't know him as well as I could have, I guess. I think I was close to mine, yet you maybe think? close has a different meaning for humans. Something to learn, I guess. Anything else you want to ask? Nah, back well, to it. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. All right, now to cut. Oh wait, yeah, we should probably. Yeah, we can quickly head to Aya. Why not? This project he wanted us to do is it research? No, it's probably development, isn't it? Okay. Talk to Liam in his room. Oh, dear lord. Oh, god. What did he do? <laughs> okay. Knock, knock. Liam, I signed off on that project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jala Maldorov, we got our gear. Costa, Ryder. We don't technically have uniforms, but this is a little casual. <laughs> Just convenience, swapping armor. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pattern on your pauldron? Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rough shin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait, what? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Mm, do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is... No, stop. I know how this goes. Someone's getting offended and someone else punched. That's why we're doing it here? It's an armor swap for answers. Stuff the diplomats, don't ask. I, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. I am sorry. Was this not sanctioned? Oh, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless, right now? Uh, don't let it cause trouble. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't need the Nexus breathing down my neck. Relax. Jar won't complain to HR or whatever Tan thinks we report to. We were joking around and realized we didn't know how to insult each other. Or how not to. Some things are so ingrained, they're invisible. We didn't even know the warning signs, so we got it over with. Now we won't do it accidentally. Like when we're trying to negotiate an outpost. Enough of his people want to shoot us now. 
I mean, it's a controlled environment, and it's sort of a good idea. But it's also really, really dumb. <laughs> okay, I kind of get the intent. No harm, no foul. <laughs> if Jar was offended, I'd be on the floor. I'll take that kind of honest any day. We have a lot to learn. That's part of what our team is for. <laughs> Better now than when people's lives are on the line. I mean, but you, you could also just like, if they have them, which I'm sure they do because they have museums, study an Angaran history book or something. Ooh. Find a plant for Subi on. All right, fine. We'll, we'll go to Aya real quick and then head to Gadara. Because we can just talk to Subi the moment we get back on the show. Okay. Probably getting this directly from the market, yes. Oh shit. Nope. Stuck on a stuck on a NPC that's anchored to the floor. That's lovely. Suvi, here's hoping you don't accidentally poison anyone. <laughs> Follow the recipe exactly. Test it to make sure people can eat it. It's Sylvie, here you go. Ryder. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. And I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. I just don't trust our autopilot alone for too long. Okay. T Kalo was about to tell me something. And I don't know exactly what. So maybe we'll just head above Kadar and exit out of the bri to the bridge to see what uh, what he was gonna tell me. Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? A group of exiles called the Outcast liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. 
but a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Yeah, here's hoping. Although our ship is kind of huge, so they might notice us. What were you going to tell me, Kalo? Uh-oh. Am I stuck? Can I not move? I can't move. I can't move! Alright, fuck it! Now orbiting Kadara. Standing order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloane Kelly. She was head of Nexus security. Be ready for anything. And keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contacts soon. Fun. All right, let's hit it. Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy, Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler Song. Your contact's codename is Shayna. Shayna. Got it. One hell of a welcome sign. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. We should be allies, they don't deserve admiration. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on. We're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. Okay. Oh, really? Do I have to deal with more of this crap? This happens sometimes. Hey, what the hell is that? Protection fees, then. And Sloan wonders why people join the collective. See what are you doing to these people? I dare Nothing you. they weren't expecting. Court's got two rules no guns and pay your protection fees. Protection fees? What are you, the mob? <laughs> Other way around. Outcasts of the law in Kadara. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Pathfinder. It will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. Creep. Are you sure I can't kill a few people while I'm here? You won't get away with this. My people won't allow it. Not for us, the Ungara would have been slaughtered by the cat. Ungrateful prick. Alright. Hey! Piss off. You order, you pay. I said. You look like you're waiting for someone. I've got time for a drink.
Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate the code names. I was expecting someone more Angaran. <laughs> the Resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the Outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloan? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Not how I'd put it. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloan was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. I'm taking him, with or without her permission. We're gonna be friends, you and I. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan, I'll talk to the Resistance. All right. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey, you gotta pay. Keep the change. Always do. Of course he left not paying. Well, let's finally go talk to this legendary Sloan. Oh my god, open the door. Sam, tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Very fun. Sounds like she won't be easy to deal with either way. Keep your hands where I can see them. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? That's quite the throne. Should I bow? Kiss your ring? Very funny. So, what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Venterev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Just point me to where you're holding him and there won't be any trouble. No. There won't be. Drop it, now! You first. Get out, or I'll put you down. Thanks for the hospitality. It may have been easier to just shoot all four of them and been done with it. That could have gone better. Perhaps Mr. Vidal had more success. Oh, come on. Because all we'd need to do is get rid of her and Pathfinder, put over somebody here. over here as an Alliance outpost governor. Have a nice chat. She almost shot me. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I found a workaround. Let me guess. Comes with strings attached? Not any new ones. Remember, Ephra wants Ven alive, so when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in, and it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. Ven's intel better be worth it. <laughs> You'll be the judge of that, not me. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your Omni tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. Working with you has been enlightening. For us both. When you're done, come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. Good, because you do owe me a drink. Go. 
go. I'd feel better in my armor. Looks like it leads to a stock room. Sam, anyone up there? No heat signatures detected. The room is clear to enter. Hello, hello, traitor. Let's have a chat. What do you want? The Archon ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I'm not with Sloane. Ephra sent me. Answer my questions, and I can get you back to the Resistance. So I'm trading one cell for another? This is what happens when you make deals with the bad guy. Or stay here. Sloane's sharpening up a spike just for your head. Uh, I'd rather be miserable than cark and food. Which brings us back to the Archon ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. This is your way out of here. A resistance contact will be waiting. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Not really. It's done. She's safe now. Uh oh. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Betra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Dear Lord. You've all seen a dead body before. Move along. Can I scan him? I could provide an analysis of the deceased. Multiple stab wounds. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count. But that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. Okay, I'll go talk to him. There seems to be somebody out here who wants to talk to me as well. Hello, Grayson. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, of course. Maybe you should freak out more quietly then, so you don't draw attention to yourself. Shit. Looks like that obvious. Uh, yeah. What's going on? I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Kytus tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. But we talked to so many people. I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. We don't really listen. You just kicked her out. No questions asked. You don't have to guilt trip me. I thought about looking for her, but I can't risk Kytus finding out I screwed up. I need this job to feed my little brother. Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. Right. Leave it to me, I'll fix it. I'll look for her. Just tell me her name and any clues about where she might be. Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. Uh, the warden might know. Everyone who's banished to Badlands goes through him. Right, okay. Down You're we the go. Pathfinder, right? Uh alright, take the lift to the slums. Didn't want to accidentally push the wrong button. Alright. Who do we want to take? Let's take Mm. Let's take Veteran Drax since they were already 
walking around and seem to know the place. Um, what does overdrive do? Immediately reloads weapons. Screw it, why not? There we go. Can't a city weapon. under a city. At the center is Tartarus, a nightclub. That's where Reyes said he'd be. Yeah, we're gonna see about this, though. You're lucky to be alive. You look well enough. My patients are usually leaking from somewhere. Definitely not leaking. No leaking here. Just seeing all Kadara has to offer. A tourist, huh? Pathfinder, actually. One survived? Could have used you when we got to Helios. Dr. Ryota Nakamoto. I used to work as the outcast's physician. Quit after Sloan turned what should have been a medical breakthrough into a drug. I thought she was supposed to be a woman of the people. She's whatever she needs to be to stay in power. When we arrived on Kadara, I found a local string of bacteria that shares properties with penicillin. Really? Quite the find. It was, until I discovered the drug is addictive and induces hallucinations in large doses. I took my concerns to Sloan. All she saw was an opportunity to make a profit, called the drug Oblivion. But beyond stealing back my formula, there's no way to stop her. Sounds easy enough. So let's steal the formula. Are you crazy? It's heavily guarded. I'm a doctor, I don't know how to fight. Ha, huh, we do. The formula's in my old lab. Please don't get killed trying to fix my mistake. Although there's also no possible reason why they couldn't have copied it anyway. How toxic can it be? <sighs> Doesn't have Carla's view, but I like it. Okay, um... In here? Tell her to call later. I'm drinking. And leave the bottle. Ryder, glad you're here. I'm sure you've heard about the murders. There's a fresh body outside Kralas. Some of the locals say it's the charlatan's handiwork. I don't buy it. The charlatan is discreet, careful. Whoever did this wanted the bodies found. Making a statement. But to who? Probably Sloan. The killer could be unhappy with how Sloan's running things. Less than a third of the victims are outcasts. No. If I was the betting man, and I am, I'd say it was the Rokar. Why would a Rokar be in Kadara port? It's Angaran built, and before Sloan, Angaran run. I think the Rokar came here looking for new recruits, and things got out of hand. What about the Angaran victims? And the Angara victims? How do they fit into your theory? I did some digging. All of the deceased Angara were public Milky Way sympathizers. So the victims either were from the Milky Way... Or supported us. It's the only pattern I could find. Yeah, you could be right. An Angaran port run by aliens would be a prime target for their cause. Problem is, I've got no proof. And the Resistance doesn't want to antagonize the Rokar. Guessing that's where I come in. I need that fancy AI of yours to scan for evidence that could implicate the Rokar. People are scared, Ryder. This is your opportunity to win friends in Kadara Port. Looks like I'm adding detective to my growing list of titles. <laughs> Detectives find things, and you're... A pathfinder. Yeah, I got it. One of the crime scenes isn't far. Give me a call when you get there. They really love them Pathfinder jokes in this game. <laughs> What's your poison? That's a joke, right? You mean alcohol, right? I wouldn't normally ask, but... It's a fair question about Kadara. Toxic water, killer outlaws... But in this case, just an expression.
First round's on me. You're more reputable than my usual clientele. What was it like after leaving the Nexus? Oh, it was lovely. One big, smelly mutineer party. Your sarcasm survived the trip. <laughs> what can I say? It sucked. We had limited supplies and nowhere to go. Kadar is paradise in comparison. Even with the shite water. Okay. The outcasts or the collective giving you any trouble? Not really. They tend to shoot each other in remote places. Where no one's looking. That won't last forever. All it takes is one wrong move and things get ugly. What will you do then? Board up the place. Hold out till the smoke clears. That's a good idea. Vetra and Drek, what are you doing back there? Your bar has a unique design. Something tells me these cages aren't just decorative. They're for your protection as much as ours. Trust me, my employees can take care of themselves. Guessing you had issues. Outlaws and pirates are known for their manners. Some customers got rowdy and ended up losing their fingers. No oh. bars won't stop a bullet, but it's a clear warning to keep your hands to yourself. Makes sense. I'll let you get back to it. <sighs> Never enough drinks to pour. And I bet the manufacture of bulletproof glass is not really something Andromeda's gotten up to yet. Depends. Only if it's legal. <laughs> of course. As you may know, Kadara's most valuable trade is scrap and resources stolen from the Nexus. But that well's running dry. I'm not stealing for you. Not my goal. My focus is resources native to Andromeda. I have it on good authority there's a large bearite deposit in Drondia. Bearite's going to be big. You don't say. I sent a surveyor to check it out, but he hasn't returned. All I need from you is peace of mind. All right, I'll check it out. Send me his last nav point. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. Doesn't sound like it's gonna be that hard. Defending ourselves against whoever killed him might be, but you know, finding his body. If you're thinking of heading into the What do you know about the situation out there? You might say I'm warden of the Badlands. It's not a place for tourists. Tough beyond these walls. I can handle it. A lot of people say that, and then we never see them again. Badlands are Kadar's dumping ground, like a giant prison. When you're too nasty for even this place, we kick you out there. You mean exiles who get exiled? Yep. Worst of the worst. And some of them want to be there. Got secrets to hide, I guess. The water's toxic. Sulfur springs are everywhere. Have a nasty habit of catching fire. Yeah. <laughs> so have at it. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it sounds like a sounds like a hellish wasteland. I'm looking for a Remy Tamayo. Any idea where I might find her? Hmm. Tamayo. Tamayo. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's the one who kept insisting she's innocent. She is innocent. The outcast collecting the fees made a mistake. Remy paid up. Well, shit. That's never happened before. Oh, I'm... I'm quite sure. As far as you know. Don't get smart, Pathfinder. Last time I saw your girl, she was talking with Johan and his crew. Nasty bunch. I'll send you the nav point to their last known location. Prepare for a fight. Sounds good. Thank you. Activating automated forward station deployment. Minings. All right, Sam. Show me what we've got. Kadara's water is dense with sulfide minerals. The oxidation of which produces toxic streams and lakes. Oof. So, no skinny dipping? No dipping at all, Pathfinder. Even the Nomad's shields cannot withstand the water's corrosive properties. Damn. The presence of monoliths suggests a vault that might reduce the acidity. However, outlaws, pirates, and other unsavory exiles inhabit Kadara's hills. The further you travel from the mountain, the more dangerous it will become. Good to know. Let's get out there. 
Okay. I bet I could drink it. No. No, Drac, no. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, do not. <laughs> it's just the first thing he says is, I bet I could drink it. No. What the fuck, dude? You think Cash lied to you? Nah, she's not the type. I'm pretty sure none of us really knew what we were getting into. Bamboozled. Nice word. Yeah, I learned it from Sid. Sid to some weird old human shit. Good name for a drink. The Bamboozled. The Bamboozled. Yep, this is the kind of conversation we have when murdering a large reptile. Hello? Hello? Can I... There we go. Taking in the view? It's spectacular. These sulfur pools are dumping grounds for bodies. People hide all sorts of evidence out here. Clever. Give them credit for putting the land to good use. My name's Cenaris. One day there'll be a reckoning for all these murders. I'm trying to collect the evidence and account for the victims. That's just bleeding hard crusader crap. I'd rather collect whatever's on the bodies and make some cash. This is Drexel, a leech. I'd prefer to shoot him, but that would kind of go against the whole grain of my work. These cesspools are scattered everywhere. If you find any bodies in your travels, let me know. Future justice will thank you. Or let me know, and I'll thank you right now. <laughs> okay, um... Well, these sulfur lakes are corrosive, so how the fuck do you intend on getting the bodies? Oh wow, there's like three right here. I think I see it, maybe not. Getting close. Oh, oh Jesus! Ow, Got shit. Way too close. Okay, don't touch that. This body was dumped here, as Cenaris claimed. I have recorded the location and relevant DNA information for any future investigation. Okay, I really need to not walk so close to the shoreline. One right over there. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank God. Alright. Can we jump over the fire? It's a good... Okay. Hiding random stuff out here. Are we getting at least oh nope this way I don't see it Okay, we'll look for it in a moment. Um, I thank you so much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. When we return, we'll keep looking for bodies, keep hunting the tra uh, Venterov's transponder, and see what else Kadar has for us. So I thank you so much. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already and want to keep up with the stream. And I'll see you all in a moment. Mm -hmm.